Hey. Hey, Norma Jean. Stacy, I'm gonna have to stop typing that so I can. And uh, <coughs> hey, plus one three stop thing. That so I can. Sorry. Hey, Mary Jo. Hey, Jane. Toledo, Ohio. Hey, Violet. Violet, have you been to one of our sales before, baby? I don't remember you. But welcome. I mean, I'm glad you're here, but I just didn't remember that name. Well, Kelly Michelle, we got side eye already tonight. Laura B. Mose ain't right. She ain't <laughs> right. She ain't right. <laughs> hey, Gracie. Miss Judy said, hey, Kelly. Hey, darling. Hey, y'all. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm. Hey, Lucy Lou. I'm right. Roll tide name. roll, baby. Hey, Angela. Panda girl. Oh, how cute. What y'all been doing today? Thank you, Grace, you sweet angel. <clears throat> we got some pretty, a pretty good variety of stuff tonight. Pretty good variety of stuff. Gardening, Mary Jo. Oh, but it's been cool here today. I think it only got up to like 74 degrees to here today, and it was no humidity. I mean, that's unheard of. That's unheard of like to the middle of January in Alabama, you know? Yes, I've been enjoying the fall weather. Where are you, plus one thrifting? Yes, it was. Lucy looked pretty here today. Susanna, hey, darling. How's things up in Canada, baby? Hey, Miss Susanna. Hey, everybody. Hey, Katie Boo. North Carolina. Oh, gosh. I love North Carolina. I love it. Oklahoma hadn't hit the hole yet, Laura. What, uh, what was the temp there today, baby? Hey, Lucy Lou. Can you see the chat, darling? Yeah. I got it. I just don't know why it's not showing up on my tablet. But Hey, I Abby. Abby said, hey, Bart, baby. Hey, Miss Abby. I've got it on my phone, but it's not pulling up on and my... And I'll probably be giving Kelly Michelle side eye quite a bit tonight because for something is wrong with my shoulder all the way down to my arm. I don't know if it's a creak, I don't know if it's a pulled muscle, pinched nerve, or whatever, but I have been, oh, and she brought me something to eat, so I can take, let me go take me some uh, extra strength towel now, hold on a minute. I didn't even take it after I ate, baby. Uh-oh. Shit, I'm taking three of them. I'm taking three of them. That ought to knock it in the Hello, bag. Hello, Miss Connie. Hello, everybody. Today. Hey, Connie. <clears throat> I would too, Stacy. I'd like to. I've got a, a my friend Dolores that I told y'all about that stays in my guest bedroom all the time. Me and her's been friends since we was twelve years old. Um, she was a, a Air Force brat, and so she got to stay. She, you know, went everywhere in the United States and other countries and everything, and lived overseas. Um, and we keep saying that we're going to just, um, cause she's got relatives all over the United States too. And she's never been to New Orleans. So I thought, cause I, my daddy's family, all of my cousins and aunts and uncles and everything lives in New Orleans. Not all of them, but you know, my daddy's side of the family. Hey, Bernie. And, uh, I thought we'd go out that way and go west cause, uh, New Orleans is as far west as I've been. Now, from New Orleans over, I've been everywhere up and down through, you know, the southeast and the up north, but. Teresa Bryant's coming in. 
I would too. Now, ain't that, uh, somebody tell me in Hawaii like that, what is it? Is it Hawaii that's like that about 75 degrees year round, baby? Teresa Bryant said, hey, baby doll. Hey, sweetie. <sighs> Angela, 63 there. Where are you, Angela? Did you already tell me that? Say, this is how crazy I am. Go be. Hey, Sharon Summers. How are you, baby? Yes, well, I thought it was. I thought it was. <coughs> My Aunt Peggy loves it there. She loves Hawaii. Her and Uncle Doug went up several times. But you know, she loves the flowers and the, um, just all the greenery and, the, and all the pretty flowers and everything. Northern Illinois. Lord, hey. Sally Hasty, Sally Hasty. Honey, I've got everybody in the world jealous of my little goodie box. You and Abby have just spoiled me. Lived at Pearl Harbor for 10 years. Oh my gosh. Oh my Lord, that be, that's a long time. <laughs> honey, I'll have anybody know Jean, you load up and come on, honey. That ain't nothing but that ain't no problem at all. Is it Kelly? Huh. No, honey. You come anytime you want to. Oh, see, I'd love to go. I would love to see those uh, whales, and I would love to see those northern lights. Oh, my gosh, I would love that. The closest I've got is the Dern Kardashians, you know, filming <laughs> it on your show. <laughs> Katie, you come on. Are you talking about coming to visit me? Honey, anybody that wants to can come down here now. I'm telling you what's the truth. <laughs> Sharon, we just had some uh we just had some high winds and stuff like that. And some rain and my power went out. It was for the wind though, nothing else but for the wind. Uh, a couple of times. Hey Anna. Hey, hey Mama. Mama Jay. Hey Stephanie, you sweet angel. How are you, baby? Hey Carrie. Honey, Sally Hasty, you get your butt in the car and come on. I, I ain't got no problem with it whatsoever. I ain't got no problem. I, I've got two bedrooms, you know, because I've done, done 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 away with every bedroom in the house except for two. But Kelly Michelle's got some. Her and Mark's got some up there. KCATX, what's the name? Oh, thank you, Teresa Bryant, you sweet angel. It, just, it really didn't get bad here, though, thank the Lord. It got bad south of us, like at the beach. Do I spy some apple butter by your paper towels? Yes, by George, you do, and some chow chow. <laughs> Nate, you sweet angel. Mm -hmm. Hey, Nate. How's things in New Zealand tonight, baby? Oh, no, it's it's Sunday morning there, ain't it? See, I'm beginning to learn a little bit about, about this geography in there. Christy Garza. Christy Garza, you sweet angel. How are you tonight? Miss Liz. Oh, Stephanie, I do feel sorry for you, baby. Ain't he a sweet talker, Mama J? Sally Hasty. Yes, Sally Hasty. You want some of my chow chow, baby? I'll send you some. She's saying chow chow like question mark. Like, what is, what it? is it? It's stuff you eat it with vegetables, girl. You eat it with vegetables. Put it you on can, hot dogs, you anything. Put it, you can put this in your deviled eggs. You ain't. You won't never go no. You won't never do deviled eggs no other way. Oh my lord, yes. It's noon on Sunday and it's a lovely day. Hey, Penny. Oh, it was it was beautiful here too. Pamela, please, please explain chow chow. Okay, it's just it's cabbage. It's it's cabbage. You cut it up. It's cab It's just like everything in the garden. Kind of like when you uh, get a bunch of stuff at the end of the season out of your garden, and it's just a little bit of this and a little bit of that, like tomatoes and okra and peppers and stuff. But chow chow's um, garlic, cabbage, um, 
banana pep. I put banana pepper, jalapeno pepper, um, uh, just all kind of spices. I put the recipe on here. I put the recipe on the uh, on my little thing. On my little YouTube yes, channel. Lucy Curios. That's what you spy. And you're right. It is yes, the best. It is the best condiment. Yeah, honey, you ain't had it. If anybody likes. Fill peas. Okay, like if anybody knows anything oh, yes. about putting down a southern, just a, a, a throw down meal like I cook, you get some cornbread, hey, Christy Garza. some fill peas, some okra, some sliced tomatoes, and some turnip greens, and you put that chow chow, you put you a tablespoon over there beside them peas and eat. Honey, you ain't never in your life. You make ain't you wanna, never in your life. Make you want to slap somebody. Hello to everybody Hi, coming Benny. in. Miss Pat. Sabrina Simon. Hey, Miss Pat. I didn't see you, baby. I think we got some of the sweetest people. Y'all, I got a message the other night from somebody that, and I ain't gonna name no names because you know I don't do that. Um, hey, but, Randy. Um, they had just started watching us and was um, complimenting everybody about what a good time they had and how sweet everybody was and how much they enjoyed it and it just made their whole weekend. You know, so you don't never know how you're touching. You know what I mean when you're just sitting here having fun together. Hey, Mary Scott. Mary Scott, that ain't nothing but a thing. I <laughs> Kelly Michelle, who's the best cornbread maker in this whole entire world? <laughs> you are. All right, my, it's a... Uh... Almost five after seven. Okay, we gotta go, Kelly. Uh, you know the taskmaster over here says we gotta go. Well, you ain't got me nothing out here. Kendra, well, I'm steadily writing down names. Hold on. Oh, so I need to go by myself. That's what I'll do then. And you got my pen, Lordy mercy Jesus. We're going to start now. This is a little uh, poodle, spaghetti poodle with a little pink bow tie on and a cute little face. And he is, or she is, let's see, four inches long and four and a quarter inches tall. Just as cute as it can be. It's not marked anywhere that I can tell. Hey, Miss Judy. And it's that, uh, it's that rough fillet. Well, it's not really rough, but you know, it's not real shiny, shiny like. But there's its little face. Kelly gets on to me because she says I don't slow down enough. It's too cute. You got people's got to be able to see the the detail on some of these things. That's cute. Okay, is that good, baby? Yes, ma'am. See, I'm trying to be good because she yeah. brought me some medicine and some uh, so snacks. Close. And the little poodle is sixteen dollars and she's number forty five. Sixteen dollars number forty five. Hey Michelle. Hey baby doll. Hey Michelle. Pamela you should drop in tomorrow at eight PM and say hey. That would make my night Are you having a sound of honey, I'll be there with bells on. Randy Harmon, you got it, baby. Yes, I will. Put it down in there and let me make a note of it. What time your thing is. What time your sale is. Is it on Instagram or YouTube? Oh, I do too, Mama J. She's got it pretty, ain't she? Michelle outdid herself on her decorating. For fall. I ain't done the first thing. I still got a snow sled and uh, and uh, bottle brush trees and a wreath up on top of my kitchen hutch. I'm lying, I'm done. <laughs> okay, next up is this uh, Lucite little, I don't know if this is a paperweight or just a pretty to sit around or whatever, but it's just yellow and aqua blue flowers on wires with a little artificial, and then the bottom of it is just this lucite uh, half of a ball, and it says, original design by New Designs Incorporated, 1969, made in the USA and washable. 
Okay, Michelle. And it is, let's see. What I do with my. Yeah. What I do with it, baby doll? See how nice I'm being to you? <laughs> Four and a half inches tall. Four and a half inches tall. And it is $7, and it's number two for the uh, little Lucite figurine. Flowers. And you can bend them all kind of ways. You know, you can bend them any which way you want to. These are on, you know, like on little wires, and they bend. Vintage Vinny. You got it, baby doll. Wait. Mama. Huh? I don't know what. Oh, I'm sorry, Annie P. You got it. I'm That's sorry, what I'm Annie. You got. You, you got to remember. I'm got it. Oh, say, I'm already in trouble. Yes. Annie P. You got gotta it, baby. Slow down. I got to slow down. I got to slow down. Hey, Annie P. Benny, I'm sorry, baby. Okay. You did, you did, Miss Annie. Sorry. Okay, next up is this cute little game from uh, Canada. and uh, But it's got English instructions in here, and it's all intact, and it's an educational game. And I don't know how in the world to say this. I think it's Taiga. 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 But um, the object of the game is to uh, see it's got a little fox, and it's got all kind of little animals and pieces. And you try to, uh, let's see if it tells right here. Thank you, Kendra Jones. This is a memory and deduction game. Flip the wooden disc to reveal the animals hidden below. Keep your eyes open and remember all your findings. And it's got instructions and um, different games you can play with it and everything. And it is just in perfect condition. It'd be a good present for somebody. It's brand new. And it is $6, number 15. $6, number 15 for the game. Hey, Crafty Jackie. Hey, Maria, California thrifter. Hey, Crafty Jackie. Kendra Drove, that was such a sweet comment. Thank you. I missed it. She and said I'm... I was the best daughter. <laughs> she is the best daughter. Uh -huh. I have been I have been really blessed. And she's been a good young one ever <laughs> since she was a kid. She went through a, a rough patch. You know how they do in the teenage years. But as a cool mama, you know, she, you come and go. I mean, she, she, within reason, she she could pretty much, you know, do it for herself. <laughs> Kara, how are you, baby? Hey, Wendy. Hey, Kara. Okay, next up is... Hey, Wendy Melton. Next up is this cool little book. Let's see if I know where this is. This is from 1979, and I just got this because I just think Jello molds are a hoop. It's called the New Joys of Jello Recipe Book. I want y'all to look. Abby or somebody had this or one like it, and had showed it on Instagram last year, sometime last in the fall, and about that ugly looking um mold that had all that food in it. Looked like it had spam and stuff in it. But look at here at the clothes. And the little party they're having. Oh, bless your heart, Kara. Annie P., I just posted uh, Mom's email address. Uh, it's under my name. Uh, but it's for, just full of pictures and look, recipes. Look for the comment Kelly Blanchard made. Little drinks. Just all kind of little desserts and stuff. But um, it it the New Joys of Jello Cookbook from 1979 is $5 and it's number 46. $5, number 46. She's been making, Laura Bemos has been making some cool stuff in them pours. Is this Margie's Fabulous Fine? Hello. Hi, Carol. You got it, baby. K-A-R-A. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, next up I have these. These aren't that old. I think these are like from the 80s. These little Flamingo Man and Woman Salt and Pepper Shakers. Just on a little disc. Oh, those are cute. They're just as cute as they can be. She, they both got, she's got a little bow in her hair and he's got a necktie on. Just as cute as they can be. Both of them's got their stoppers. And they are $12 for the Flamingo Salt and Pepper Shakers and they're number 20. Crafty Jackie said she's been at her brother, the hoarder's house. <laughs> you get ready oh, man. I, uh... Are you, are you going to do a video about it? I love those kind. Sally Hasty said she has side eye like Miss Pamela. Stacy Brinkley. Stacy, you got it, baby. Who has side eye? Sally does. <laughs> I started a new trend with the side eye. The flamingos have the side eye. There you go. I should have kept them bad boys. Okay, here I'll get you some. You want to do this again? It's fine. Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to do, baby. Okay, up next we have this Pelosi uh, 1977 ice cream scale from an ice cream parlor. It's uh, It's got some wear up there, you know, of course. It can be probably cleaned with some... Um, Barkeeper's friend, but I just hadn't done it. But it, it really works. It works real good, and it's really in good condition. And I love the aqua color on it. It goes from 0 to 31 ounces, it looks like. Two-pound capacity, it says. But the Pelosi ice cream scale from Ice Cream Parlor is $20, number 13. $20, number 13. Hey, Anna. Hey, Anna M. Side Street Market, you snuck in on me, baby. I didn't say hey to you yet. <laughs> Where are you going to put this stuff that don't sell so we can go back over it, baby? I've got a spot. You do? Okay, thank, up next. Thank you so much, Michelle. She said she's listening. She's on troll and on troll alert. Thank you. You go, baby. You get them bad boys for me. Okay, next up is a uh, piece by Lois, a hand-painted piece uh, from 1999 of these gorgeous purple irises on this porcelain plate. I just think they are gorgeous. And the plates, the design of it's real pretty too. Oh, and I was going to tell y'all, I got some of those, uh, I've got plate hangers, the wire kind, and I've also got the kind, the disc that sticks on the back. So, if y'all will remind me, anybody who buys some of this hand-painted stuff, if you want one of those, um, I'll add it to it. There'll be a dollar each, a dollar for the plate hanger or a dollar for the disc thing. So, you just let me know. But the um, beautiful hand-painted from 1999 iris plate is twelve dollars number four twelve dollars number four hey pink elephant hey kelly my stone story hey kelly vintage <laughs> stacy brinkley yours is going faster than mine am i on? no it's just that my uh stacy do you want one of those discs that you uh that sticks on the back to hang it or a plate hanger She said, yes, please, disc. Okay. So, I'm going to put include disc. Send the disc. I love those. Send. Send disc. With plate. Okay. Okay, next up is this cute little pink plastic souvenir salt and pepper shaker you know it's the one where you punch it and the, and the salt or the pepper comes out at the bottom 
from Florida. It's in perfect condition. It's just acrylic. Cute as it can be. I just love these things. And it is $6 number nine. $6 number nine for the uh, Vintage Florida Souvenir Salt and Pepper Shaker. Hey, Karen's Vintage. I know, isn't it cute as a button? And it just, you know, it comes out like that. Thank you, Elizabeth. Margie B's Fabulous Finds. Thank you, Margie. Thank you, Anna. If I can ever get my butt, uh, Margie B. If I can ever get my butt, I'm making, um, I'm making some things for, uh, giveaways for the thousand subscribers, and I'm going to have a, a giveaway as soon as I can get my butting gear and finish them. Do you them. want to show these? This, is, you, this is, needs to be cleaned, or do you? I'll go ahead and do it. Okay, good. I'm going to get them away. Okay. And that last one was Margie B. Mm -hmm. Margie B's Fabulous Finds okay. for number nine. Hey, Kim. Okay, up next I have a lot of four vintage shot glasses. I have two of these. Um, here's looking at you that's got the little fish eye that follows you around. And this one says bottoms up and it's got the little man that's been hooked in the butt. There's Thank you, Agamoy. And then there's one that says, another one that says bottoms up and it's got the little monkeys. And then this one is Old Fitzgerald Whiskey. And it's got some writing down at the bottom, bourbon, I mean. And um, the four shot glasses, vintage shot glasses, are $10, number 33. $10, number 33. Got the looking at you, bottoms up. Two bottoms up ones, one's with monkeys and one's with a man getting uh, stabbed in the butt with a fish hook and one's old Fitzgerald bourbon. Hey, Cheryl. Do we know Carol Barrett, B-A-R-R? No, I don't. Stacy Brinkley got those as well. <clears throat> no, I don't, baby. Thank you, Stacy. Welcome, Carol Barrett. Oh, Lord. My, uh, my friend Dolores, I think her allergies has been bothering her, too. She's been having a time with them. Stacy, a little pile going in here. Yeah. Okay, next up is a uh, book to put out for Halloween. I just thought it was killer. It's Children of the Vampire, and the um, the spine is really, you can see it really good, Children of the Vampire, and it's black and gold, really gothic looking. And I just, I like to pick up these books. Plus, it's in excellent condition, and it sounds like a pretty good book to uh, read if you like that kind of thing. Um, but the, uh, Children of the Vampire book is $5, number 55. $5, number 55. I'm still here, but I gotta start researching something. You go ahead, Miss Norma Jean, and I'm gonna look you up, and, and I'll be there tomorrow. Be most smirking. Thank Laura, you, Laura. That's Laura Bemos. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to learn them. You starting to, ain't you, baby? <laughs> that's because you're smarter than the average bear, baby. I'm not as sharp as I used to be. Hey, Miss Joanne.
I love that. Uh, no. <laughs> Next up, this is from my collection. I just have to thin. I just have to thin things out. This is a um, 1960s metal mesh purse made in Hong Kong with the magnetic clasp, and it's got the snake, um, the snake chain strap for to make it a shoulder bag, and it is absolutely gorgeous inside. Made in Hong Kong. Hey, Triple S. It's got a, ins uh, a zipper inside pocket and a uh, open inside pocket. And, it, I mean, it is just in perfect condition, and it's genuine leather. Um, and it, let me put this back in there. But they, um, hold on a second. Well, snot, tell Michelle. Hey, Doug Grimes. Hey, Doug, you did make it, didn't you, baby doll? I mean, it is it is just gorgeous. It is gorgeous. It is sixteen dollars, number twenty three. Sixteen dollars, number twenty three, for the vintage mesh and genuine leather um, handbag. Clutch or handbag? Well, it's a shoulder. It, it you can, can use it either bag. way. Okay. You yeah. can you can remove the shoulder strap and use it as a clutch if you want to. Miss Joanne. Miss Joanne Baber, you got that baby. You're going to love this, Miss Joanne. It is a nice purse. I like it. I just got to thin some things out, Kelly. You know? I mean, I can't keep everything. Okay. Up next is this little red and calico child's apron, or you know, youngster's apron. I don't, I don't know that it it would fit a woman, but it'd have to be a skinny woman. It ain't gonna fit no women up in this house. I can tell you that. And it's got um, four little pockets with the Rick Rack trim, just as cute as it can be. And it's even got pockets on the inside of it. I mean, you could, you know, I don't know they've made it reversible. I don't know why. I guess if you get one side dirty, you can use the other or something. I don't know. But it is just as cute as it can be and just like brand new. I mean, just like brand new. And the little um, red apron with the uh, calico trim is $8, number 44. $8, number, <laughs> that's me, that's me, Wendy. It might fit a thigh. Eight dollars, number forty-four. <laughs> yeah, don't forget about Miss Norma's sale tomorrow. Yes, I have to put that on my uh, Instagram when hey, I. Hey, Cindy out. Sanders Stone. Miss Joanne, you got that little apron, baby. Darn, I took three of them during time, and all you'd think it'd kick in. How long ago did I take them? About 20 minutes ago. Oh, shoot. Isn't that precious? Uh-huh. Right, I wonder that... why all them pockets. <laughs> okay. Up next, I've got a uh, pair of um, cuff earrings. They're, they're little angels and they're ear cuffs. You know, they just, they're, they like just cuff on your, the upper part of your ear. You know, they're not post or anything, they're just cuffs. Hey, Helen. And they are, whoops, let me turn it around. I've got them crooked. There they are. And they are five dollars for the ear cuff angels number forty. Dang, Laura, that's good. She got a smart uh, granddaughter. Forty. I am a pocket gal. Me too. Me too, Katie. Oh, Laura was saying that she got that book for her granddaughter, and she reads oh. on college level. Well, so I think she'll enjoy it. I, I looked at it a little bit before I. Uh, Decided on it, and I liked it. Is 
Stacy Brinkley. How are you seeing that? Thank you, Stacy. Oh, Laura, that's nice. <laughs> okay, up next is this little Winnie the Pooh figurine. And it says, at, uh, Copyright Disney Japan on the bottom. I never, never seen that before, but I guess it's, but, so it's probably, what, what would y'all think, from the 70s or 60s? It's just Winnie the Pooh with his little honey pot. He's just as cute as a button. And he is $5 number 28. $5 number 28. Norma Jean Plus One is having a sale at 8 p.m. Oh, Sally okay. Hasty. I'll write it down for you, Mom. So Thank you, don't you have baby. To it one time. Sally Hasty. You got Thank the, you, Sally. You got the little Winnie the Pooh, Miss Sally. All right. Next up is a homemade Venus. I think she's this Venus. De, yeah, Venus de Milo statue and she is 11 and a half inches tall she's really really pretty and just she's finished really well to be homemade as an atlantic mold and it is from december the 17th 1973 so this was probably a christmas present for someone but i thought it was just really well done you know to be a uh, hobbyist piece but the uh, Venus de Milo hobbyist piece, tw 11 and a half inches tall from 1973, is $12 number seven. $12 number seven. I do too, Elizabeth. I like them too. Sally Hasty. Thank you, Sally. Now, Sally, what are you going to do with that thing? Nothing in your house that looks like that. <laughs> Mama. Well, they ain't. I have one of those. I think she would look great in the bathroom or something like that. I had intentions of making a lamp out of her for my uh, bedroom, but but I just, I, I couldn't mess her up. You know what I mean? I, I didn't want to mess her up. All right, peeps, guess what? It's 7.30. Ah, Lucy, that's fine. I'll call you Lucy from now. I just try. I have a statue like that. I like the Venus de Milo statue. I think it's just real pretty and graceful. You gonna do a number generator? I am. Kelly's gonna do a number generator for $10 uh, store credit. And any of you here that are new, uh, Kelly does several, or we, we try to if we can remember, does a number generator, and whoever's number she, uh, the little thing lands on gets $10 store credit, and you can use it tonight or another night. You don't have to use it tonight if you don't find anything that you want. All right, so here's the list of name people that have commented so far, all right? And there are 60 so far. I'm going to do the number generator. Sally says, woo-hoo. All right, so can they see this? I don't know. Yes, yeah, I yeah. got it. Generate number 34. So let's see who number 34 Who's is. number 34? Number 34. I'm trying to, <laughs> the, the, the table is too close to the thing, y'all. Just a second. Let me bend the paper. Uh, Sabrina Simon. Sabrina Simon. Congratulations, baby doll. And like I said, if you don't find anything you uh, want tonight, Sabrina, we'll keep it for you for a future sale. 
Oh, Deb Riley, that's okay. We'll do another one, baby. Hang in there. Hang and in. and you and you'll know next time. That's okay. All you got to do is just make one comment. You can just say, she's just say hey. Lady. Hey, hi, something. But because we don't know you're here unless you say something. So we we have no way yeah, of writing. Yeah, we can't, we can't it, see it who's It just viewing. shows like 105 people are here now, but it don't tell you who they are. So that's the only way we know is if you comment. Oh. And also, y'all, I got those little things right there. I already got you something. Also, y'all, when y'all come in and me and mom say hello and things like that, you know, the feeds kind of goes fast sometimes. So just if we if we don't uh, get a chance to say hey to everybody, that doesn't necessarily mean that we haven't wrote your name down. Um, because I'm steadily writing down names, especially in the first, like, 20 or 30 minutes. Um, but don't think that, you know, if, if I don't actually verbalize it that you're not on the list because most of you hey, are. Cheryl, hey Kelly, did you get Cheryl Medicine? I, I did. She, yeah, oh, okay. I, I got okay. her earlier tonight. I came in during your drawing. Did you see me? Did you two see me? Barb J.M.? Barb J.M., yes. Okay, Kelly got you, darling. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. Just because <laughs> we don't need Okay, next up I had this set of little miniature pewter frames with the easel backs. And I put a, just a uh, cut out of a card on here so you could see. But each one of them is different. And they are, you know, you could just put a, a little face or a distance uh, photo would fit in here good. But I just put that in there to show you how pretty they look with something in them. And the set of three miniature pewter frames are five dollars number 31 five dollars number 31 for the set of three miniature pewter frames yes thank you miss Susanna don't forget to uh, give us a thumbs up y'all I know it grace ain't they sweet yes Susanna you go baby yes miss Connie Connie we we got I got you earlier in the chat hun <clears throat> when you first came in or when you not when you first came in but when you first commented okay I'll get you something just wait a minute just you ain't got that. to worry about it I'll get my own something oh next up is this little is this not cute this little handmade tartan plaid teddy bear. He would be so precious this winter, sitting out anywhere, but especially at Christmas time. He is, let's see if I measure. He's nine inches tall. He doesn't, um, you know, he's not articulated. Like he doesn't <coughs> move, I mean, he's just, you know. He's just plush. He's just a little plushy. And he's a little fat thing too just as cute as he can be and the little tartan plaid teddy bear handmade is ten dollars number fifty ten dollars number fifty for the tartan plaid teddy bear Thank I you. do too I love plaid cozy kid. listen at Michelle what's up with that thermos back there cozy oh Abby good Thank you, Crafty Jackie. Yes, there's like 100 people in here, but only 50 thumbs up. But maybe, I mean, I hate to think that half the people don't like it, but that's it. A lot of people, hit, a lot of, a lot of people forget to hit it. Kelly. What? <laughs> yeah. I hate to think people don't like it. Everybody okay. likes us, baby. Nate, rolling on the floor, laughing my ass off with, with something, with something. Nate, I don't even know that one. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know what he's... I, I missed it. They're talking about uh, acronyms that people use for, you know, in social media. Lord, honey, I wouldn't even be able to type that much. Let's say it. Oh. Okay, 
Okay, Michelle's worried about this thermos back here. This is a Sears and Roebuck thermos. Mm -hmm. It's a huge one. <clears throat> um, now it does have, see it's got that little scratch right there. Yeah. And it's got that right there. And that's probably from laying in somebody's lunchbox. I'm sure. It is 12 inches tall. And it's got this cup. Mm. It's got this cute, clean liner. And I love the design on it. Let's see if it says how much it holds. Yes, that is very cool. I did not want her to... Get rid of it. But. Tighten the bottom securely. Sold only by Sears and Roebuck Company. Made in the USA. Let me look at it, Mama. Number 7399 quart vacuum bottle. Okay, and it's going to be an offer up. Oh. Oh, yeah. Kelly's got to get her timer ready. Sorry, baby. You can keep talking. You can tell me it's offer and, up. Um, It'll be going for 90 seconds. Oh, I gotta type in start, Donna. Hold on a minute. Pete's for Pete's. Let me get his name wrote down. You got it? Uh. Okay, we're going to go for 90 seconds on the offer up for the um, Sears and Roebuck Thermos. Going to open up at $12 start. $12 start. Uh, Wendy Melton, yes, that is like a, that is red. It kind of does look a little bit orange, but I mean, you got to remember it's this a, is. It's a true red. It, this is a true red. This is like a night. I mean, when is that? It's, I would it's, say it's from the 60s with that design on there. It was the red that was red back then. Um, it is coming across a little orange I on wish there. It, but it does probably look a little bit orange. Um, but it's really red. See, you can tell the farther back I get with it. When I get it up in this big light over here, it looks orange. But it's, it's true red. Side Street Market for 22 Penny for she for 23. 30 seconds, y'all. Side Street Market 25. 15 seconds. It's still wet where I washed it. I got water dripping. Christy Gars is at 26. Christy's at 26. And it's time to stop. Stop. Okay, let me go out and refresh and see who got it, babies. Christy Garza for $27. Christy Garza, you got it, baby, for $27. Thank you, baby doll. $27. That's a big one, ain't it? Yeah, I like it. Are so crazy. I told you I wanted to joke her a long time ago. You did not never tell me. You yes, I that did thing. when it was sitting over there by the hearth on your hall. Kelly Michelle, you're you're not you're not being exact. Maybe that, that was a different one. Okay. Up next I have this cute little pair of clip on earrings. They're cameos. Oh, those are pretty. Don't even start it, Kelly. I'm just saying they're pretty. They're uh they're ovals. The background is a, a brown color, a real pretty brown though. It's a 
fall looking brown and the cameos are just done really really well the backs are finished beautifully i don't know if that's showing up but they are clip on they i don't think they're marked mm -mm. and they are heavy i mean these are very well made earrings so the cameo earrings clip on are fifteen dollars number 39 Fifteen dollars number thirty nine. Teresa, Bryant. Teresa Bryant. That's right. <laughs> there is so much to go through in here. <laughs> she shops down here all the time. Don't let her fool you. <laughs> Did you? Where was you at this morning at seven o'clock? Uh, no, yeah, seven o'clock when me and Mark came by going to the from the market. I went to an estate sale up in I Birmingham to try to get Kara to try to get Kara that uh. In Birmingham. That set of El Rancho uh, McCoy pieces, those Western pieces she wanted, and they wanted a darn arm and a leg for them. Oh, Lord. Uh, Stacy Brinkley. Brinkley, you got them, baby. You're going to love these. Stacy, those are really pretty. <clears throat> Write her name on there, baby. Okay. I'm glad you got those, baby, because those are pretty. I make it for them during the holidays. <laughs> right here. Sorry. Next, I have a Tom Turkey single. Uh, he's clay, a clay piece. Old, old, old. And I don't know what happened to his mater if he even had one. But he's painted really, really pretty. Just a single candle holder. And it's, I just love the way he's painted. Little fat turkey. He is $4, number 26, for the Tom Turkey candle holder. Four dollars, number twenty-six. Oh Lord, yes, Benny. Angie knows her stuff about the jewelry. Moss stone. Hmm. Moss stone. Where do you say that? Oh, I'm sorry. All right. It. Oh, thank you, baby. What number is it? Twenty-six. Is her name Kelly, too? Uh-huh. She's an IE, though. I got it. Thank you, baby. Okay, up next, I've got another Halloween or a book you can put out for Halloween. It is called A Call for the Dead, the first George Smiley novel. But I also got it because of the title and because of the spine see how cool that would be just sit you know sitting up for halloween but it is five dollars number 54 for the call of the dead five dollars number 54 oh i can't picture nate being a librarian no no Laura be miss That still ain't showed up on mine. <clears throat> Thank you, Laura. We'll just uh, go by mine. And we'll yes, it's for the granddaughter again. <laughs> I figured as much. Do what, baby? Uh, 21. That's okay. Look, no side eye tonight. See, I gotta have you to rub my back when you uh, we get through with this. Oh. <laughs> I gotta have you to put my salon pots and my heat and everything on me. Oh, okay. So I gotta be nice to you. Oh. Next up is that uh, 16 inch double strand of uh, hand tied faux pearls with the beautiful box clasp. Really, really, really pretty. In perfect condition. I mean, they are just so pretty. And they are 
$10, number 21, for the double strand of hand-knotted faux pearls with the box clasp. Oh, I want some Mexican hot chocolate, too. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, don't you love Karen Lee Bovini? Oh, my word. Any of y'all that ain't watching her, y'all need to watch her. She's out there in uh, Long Beach, California, and she finds the best stuff. Abby, my little buddy here, Cozy Curated Cottage, she's got a YouTube channel, and she finds all kind of vintage stuff. Cute, uh, and uh, linens, if you're into linens, you need to watch her because she can find them, honey. Okay. So you just sell it everywhere. I promote reading over TV too. I promote anything over TV. Okay, up next is these. I just thought these was precious. These are little hand painted, and it's just signed N H. They are wooden hand painted squirrels. Look at that. Look at that. Little squirrel family. Look at these. And they got one mouse in there. But I just thought these would be so cute. You could set these up in a little, um, you know, one of those little stands, those little wooden stands. Or you could hang them, you know, by a ribbon all together. These you are hand just, painted. Yeah, they're hand painted. And it just says N H on them. Look at this little baby squirrel down there playing with his blocks on the floor while they're having their tea. I mean, is that not sweet? Look at her out there gardening with her bonnet on and all her flowers in it. Yes, Teresa. Cute fall decor. And precious for fall. Precious. And they are, the set of four of these are $7, number five. $7, number five for the four hand-painted um, wooden uh, decor pieces. <laughs> Vinny. What would Vinny say? <laughs> A squirrel's nuts grab them. Liz Stearman. Thank you, Liz. Those are cute. Ain't they precious? Yes. They're hand painted. People don't do stuff like that anymore. Hardly. No, they don't. People don't paint. Well, I mean, anymore. you know, people do, but not like they used to. Dormouse, squirrel chipmunks, and a field mouse. That's right, Lucid. That's right. I'm glad too, Liz. I'm glad you got those. I can't wait till you see them in person because they are just precious. Okay, up next are these vintage Japan. Look at that old sticker on there. Trunk up elephant salt and pepper shakers. Oh, sorry, Kelly. How stinking cute is these bad boys? In perfect condition. Just as cute as they can be. And they're a pretty good size for a, you know, vintage set of salt and pepper shakers. Just as cute as they can be. And again, there's the stickers on them. And their little stoppers. I just thought that these were so sweet. So, so sweet. I hope you hold them. And they are $12, number 16. $12, number 16 for the Elephant Trunk Up Made in Japan Salt and Pepper Shakers. Carrie, you got them, baby. All right. Those are so cute, ain't they? Mm-hmm. K-C-A-T-X. Mm-hmm. All right, hold on. I'll get you something else. Baby, I got some stuff back here. Oh, 
Okay, up next is a lot of five vintage Christmas cards, and all of these have been written in. They have, you know, like they have uh, the family name or somebody, you know, too. But there's this one with the tree made out of the gifts, and there's the little back. Here's this one. It's going to be a set of five of them. Look at this one. Look at the Santa Claus and all them reindeer coming out of the sky right there in that little village. Look at that. Look at this family of snow people. This is textured. They've got snow on them that's textured like flock. Bye, Chris. Bye, darling. And the set of five vintage, well, it's not. Five vintage Christmas cards. Let me get them all up here. Is $7.00. And they're number 48. $7, number 48 for the five vintage Christmas cards. <laughs> Joanne Baber. Thank you, Joanne. Those are so cute, ain't they? Mm -hmm. Okay, up next, if anybody knows anything about vintage jewelry, this is Arthur Pepper. And this is a piece that he made from sometime between, from the mark, sometime between 1955 and 1965. And it's a fall leaf, gold tone. And see how the back is all riveted and everything. And there's his mark. A-R-T is his mark for Arthur Pepper. In absolutely fantastic condition. I have two, Miss Barb. <laughs> I just think this is gorgeous. And the um, Arthur Pepper leaf brooch is $12, number 24. $12, number 24. Thank you, Miss Teresa. Hey, Teresa Calderini. I don't think, did I say hey to you yet? I hadn't seen you yet, baby. That's gorgeous. That. Ain't that pretty? Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's even got textures like a leaf. Mm-hmm. Okay, up next I have another piece of Lois's um, hand painting. And this is from 1990. And it is a hand-painted crumb catcher. A porcelain crumb catcher with gorgeous roses and leaves on it. I mean, gorgeous. And look at the um, the design on this crumb catcher. And again, the same thing goes for this one as it does did that other plate that Stacy got. I will uh, for a dollar. I will uh, include the for a dollar more. I will include a plate hanger. Or this one would probably do better on the sticky disc that you put on the back with the hanger on it. But look at that! How pretty. And it is $12, and it's number 12. $12, number 12. <laughs> I do too most of the time, Kelly. Teresa Calderini said that that pen, I think, was for her package. I don't know what her package is. Unless, does she do the thing we got? Teresa, you got it, baby. All right, Teresa, do you want one of those discs? For a dollar more that goes on the back so you can hang it or are you going to display it another way
Yes. You don't want the disc? Okay. <coughs> Send disc. Number 12. I have to write a note over here so I don't forget that. I got it right on mine too, Mom. Thank you, baby. See, I ain't gonna say nothing about how good we're getting along tonight because the last sale I said that at, you know, it started nothing but a bunch of side eye. It was side eye from then on. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Uh, it is 7.58. So we got an hour to go. We're doing good. Mm -hmm. Okay, up next is a set of seven of these Ellie Smith uranium glass octagon shaped salad plates or dessert plates. They are <laughs> the side eye is your signature. <laughs> That's true. They are seven and three quarter inches across. Let me get my light. You wanna turn the light off, Kelly? The I, light you, got, you know you I could do. Oh, I forgot to order me a clapper. But see, they just glow really, really good. Look at that. Put it over here out of the light. And the whole stack of them, hold the stack up, buddy. And let me put it through the stack. See? I mean, look at that. I just love it. And the stack of seven seven and three quarter inch Ellie Smith octagon shaped uranium glass salad dessert plates is $35 for the whole set number 34. $35 number 34. They make a difference don't they Christy? I love your um the display you had on Instagram too. I know it Nate I love it too. Hey, Kendra Joe, I don't have your uh, PayPal email, baby. I hadn't been able to send your invoice out. Can you uh, send it to oakgrovevintage at gmail.com for me, baby? And I'll get that stuff out to you. Even a tattletale bark. Thank you, darling. You're welcome. Up next is this um, five and a half inch tall peach luster vase with the black trim on it. It says made in Czechoslovakia, number 32. Just really, really pretty peach luster. I just think that's gorgeous. And it is $10, number 27, for the Czechoslovakian Peach Luster Bud Base. Well, I guess it's more than a bud base. It's a real, you know, you can put more in it than a bud. It does. It does Christy. look like a trophy, don't it? Lucy, Lucy Curios. Curios. You got it, baby. That's a way, John Crickmore, that's a way to get them involved in something, you know, because that'd be interesting to them. Oh, what don't you have, vintage and vinyl? Let me see what Abby said up here. Tiffin books. I don't know what a Tiffin book is. I have to hide it when it comes. <laughs> Why you gotta hide it, Elizabeth? Oh my gosh, these are precious, 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 y'all. Oh, I've had these for so long. 
look at these pink Shih Tzu or Pomeranian. I can't remember which ones these are. I don't know. What do y'all think these are? Shih Tzus or Pomeranians? On these pillows. Look at that. Japan Salt and Pepper Shakers. Pink little puppies with flowers in their hair sitting up on pillows. Salt and Pepper Shakers. Have you ever, have you ever seen anything so cute in your life? It's a shit zoo. Thank you, Christy. They look snotty, don't they? Like they like like they too good to be salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> they shit out of luck, ain't they? Because they are. <laughs> they are fifteen dollars and they're number eighteen. Fifteen dollars for the salt and pepper shit zoo salt and pepper shakers sitting on pillows. <laughs> $15, number 18. Crafty Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Ain't it time to do another um, number generator? Mm -hmm. I'm fixing to. We'll do it now. I am. Um, oh. Ha! I'm going to get me some more di uh, Diet Coke, y'all. Hang on a second. Talk amongst yourselves. Kelly, where'd you get that uh, pasta salad in the refrigerator? Publix? Where'd you get that pasta salad in the refrigerator? Uh, at the uh, market. <clears throat> See, I want to... In downtown Northport? Yeah, um, the farmer's market. I want to get... I want the, the kale that we've got growing, I'm going to try to do that same thing because all it is is kale and pasta and um, cheese and like some red bell pepper and stuff. Oh, Kelly's going to do another number generator, y'all. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock. We're a little behind. Sorry. Bet we were in the middle of showing something. All right. Sabrina Simon won the first one. All right. Now we've moved up to 70 different people commenting, so let me get that in there. All right. Number 37, Kendra Joe. Kendra Joe, you want $10 store credit or sale credit. Kendra Joe. The long winded man, he's very detailed. <laughs> he is very detailed. Is Debbie Shaw asking us if there were any more displays? Were there any more displays? Were there any more displays? Debbie Shaw. It might have been for somebody. They might. It might just be. Con I haven't been able to follow the conversation. What you mean, Debbie? Are you talking to me and Kelly or somebody else? Next up is another good this time of year book for Halloween or fall. It's uh, Ghost Town Tales of Oklahoma. It's from 1996, and Jim Etter is the author, and he was born in Muskegee, Oklahoma, and grew up in the nearby small community of Octaha, as I guess how you say it. He's a freelance writer, and he wrote for the Daily Oklahoman newspaper. He also lived in t uh, Texas, where he did both newspaper and television work. Unforgettable stories of nearby forgot of nearly forgotten places are the result of his roaming through Oklahoma and is called a master storyteller. And it's got let's see how many stories it's got in here. Oh good gracious. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. 27 stories of different towns and the ghost stories that um, have been passed down from there. Ghost Town Tales of Oklahoma is $10 and it's number 36. Hey, Mary Beth and Laura. Hi, y'all. 
Okay, after this book, let's slow down for just a second. And a, uh, okay, so... Oh, Debbie Shaw. She said no, someone else. Okay, Miss Debbie, thank you. No, don't be sorry, y'all are... Uh, oh, I just, no, you go ahead, honey. Y'all go ahead and chat, honey. That's we what just, that chat's for, is for y'all. When I see questions, I just want to... I try to look and make sure that it's we not... We just don't want y'all to us. think we're ignoring you. Congratulations, Jackie, on a thousand. Uh, Miss Maria, California Thrifter, um, I'm sorry, baby, but that lamp is ju is, is 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 ours. Um, we can't oh, no. we can't get rid of it. I'm sorry. No. My mama, uh, when she had cancer, um, before she got to where she could, anyway, she didn't want to bother me at night time to get her some water and stuff, and the the treatments made her real dry mouth. So that's her lamp that used to be over there in the dining room. But I put it over here in the kitchen because I scared to death she was going to fall or something. And so I, it, I just keep it here in the kitchen because it just makes me feel good. Because it just reminds me of her. Lord, no, you couldn't get that lamp from me for a million dollars. <laughs> but I do have some little... Uh, Lamps like that that I change out and put in my bookcase that I'm uh, selling between now and Christmas. Um, but Kelly is for sale. She's not tonight, but there's days when she would be real cheap. Stop giving me the Alabama accent. My family is from Dothan. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Christy. All right. Um, let me get you something else. I'm sorry. That's okay. I can do something over here. This is right here. This is uh. Let me go ahead and do stuff like this because. Well, baby, I'm gonna do that's, everything. Um, that's I'm fall. Do, we're doing good on the time tonight. That's fall. Up next is a set of pumpkin salt and pepper shakers, and these are more modern. They're from probably the '90s. Little green stems, just little, you know, pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. A cute little set for Thanksgiving or just on your table for fall. And they are six dollars. Number 29 for the pumpkin salt and pepper shakers. Six dollars, number 29. <laughs> Who, who'd you find for him, Carrie? Who'd you find for Nate? My stone is Kelly, right? Kelly with the IE. Uh, she didn't get it. I'm asking a question. Yes, that's her. Uh, Kelly, I think it's like 67 or 68 degrees here. Joanne Baber. Nope. Okay. Joanne number yeah. 20. You mean number 29? She you mean, yeah, she came back and said number 29. Oh. John, you're fast on it. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Sorry about the loss of your mom as well. Okay. I say sorry about the loss of your mom as well like I've lost mine. I shouldn't have said that. She was saying sorry to you about the loss of your mom. That was sweet about that. Well, she was, you was just as close to mama as she, yeah. if she was your mama. Who got this? Joe and Baber. <laughs> You're telling me to slow down. You need to slow down, sister. Well, I mean, I'm trying to address everybody. I've got some cute rooster lamps out in the shed, baby, and I'm going, uh, I've been going out there and getting a little bit, and I'll be out there a lot more if it stays. It's supposed to stay cool like this all next week. So I'll be getting some uh, vintage Christmas and stuff out of the storage building out there. Oh, honey, that's okay. It probably just didn't um, go through, but it's oak, oak grove vintage at gmail.com. Uh, Michelle, thank you for coming, baby, and hanging out with us. Mwah. Hope you have a good night, baby. Bye, Michelle. Show us the shed. Oh, my God. Oh, God, y'all. Oh, my That'd God. That'd have to be a, a field trip. Um, my brothers and my Aunt Peggy would come down here and commit me if I did. Okay. Um, let's do this little thing. Okay? Now I'm going to do this right here. You keep saying, you keep, you keep interrupting me. <laughs> Up next is this handmade red and white gingham apron. And it's got the chicken scratch detail all along the bottom. It is just precious. And this is an adult apron. It's got the chicken scratch. It's just, just so, so cute. And 
and it's in absolutely perfect condition. And it is <laughs> twelve dollars, number forty-three, for the red and white gingham apron with the chicken scratch detail. Penny for she. Thank you, Penny. Isn't that a, a pretty name, yes. Forshi? I like that. That's okay, Lucy. Me and Kelly both keep up with it. So, um,. And I put the numbers on your invoice when I invoice you, so if there's ever any discrepancy, we'll know. But me and Kelly both keep up with it, so we can catch any mistakes we make. Who's that? Lucid. Okay. This, I tried to sell this in a sale a couple of weeks ago, but it didn't sell, but I'm going to try it again. It's a white milk glass perfume bottle with a leaf stopper. And it just says, Happy birthday, Laura. Ren, China, Japan. On the sticker on the bottom. It's just absolutely, and it's in perfect condition. There's not even any chips or anything on the little stopper. And the per, uh, white milk glass perfume bottle with the leaf stopper is $10 and it's number eight. $10, number eight, for the white milk glass perfume bottle. Debbie Downer? Penny for she. Thank you, Penny. Okay, up next is a set of four vintage Macy's mugs. It's, it says R.H. Macy and Company Incorporated. All the trimmings line, porcelain made in Japan. So I have four of them. They're trimmed in 24 karat gold in absolutely perfect condition with holly on them. They're the footed mugs. Four of them, R.H. Macy and Company, all the trimmings, porcelain cups, made in Japan. A set of four, $12, number 17. $12, number 17. If Kelly was at home, Wendy, there'd be a cat on her chest, too. Or licking her ear and cleaning her up. He bathes her like, like, <laughs> She's a kitten. It's a, it's ridiculous. <laughs> What's the email again? Oakgrovevintage at gmail.com, baby. Thank you, Vintage and Vinyl. Thanks, Katie. Turn that off if you want to, baby. I am burning some. A sweet friend named Abby sent me some wax melts, and I have been thoroughly enjoying them. I have been going through them like uh, Grant through Atlanta, honey. Okay, up next um, is this beautiful set of Omega Bat pierced earrings, smoky quartz. I believe these are Brighton, but I can't be absolutely sure. These are mine, and... I just don't wear them enough, and they're gorgeous. They're head, they're very well made. But see the detail around there? They're cushion cut smoky quartz with the Omega backs. And they're comfortable to wear. 
just a little cushion cut smoky quartz. I wish that detail would show up, but I don't know if I can get can it. Can you to. put something uh, white behind it? Like here, try this. So they could see that, but I don't know that it will. Well, I think they are brighten, but of course, you know, I don't never keep any boxes or anything. I'm trying, y'all. I know it's blurry. I'm just trying to move slow, so hopefully it'll... But they're silver tone and gold tone mixed. Absolutely gorgeous. See the back? They do look like Brighton. I think they are, but, you know, I can't be... Abs I can't tell them because... I think I bought them at Belk, and I think they are Brighton. But, anyway. They are $12, number 38. It's kind $12, of... $12, number 38. They've got weight to them like they, like they are. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, they're very sure. well made. These are very well made. Teresa Calderini. You're going to love those, girl. Since I quit working, since I retired, I just don't, I just don't wear my jewelry like I used to. But I can guarantee you while I was working, I was the best dressed chick in the place. You going right down there? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That was a Teresa Calderini. Uh-huh. Pam needs to go on flipping and sipping. Oh, I forgot about flipping and sipping. I was supposed to check into that. Flipping and sipping is um, Fat Bird Finds, Laura and um, Mary Beth. Didn't you watch them last night with me? Last night. I mean, I know you was at home, but I mean... What was I doing? Okay, I've got another offer up, and this is some vintage Christmas. This is a box of new old stock C9 Christmas bulbs. And they are still in their box. Look at there. Can y'all believe that? It says, assorted 25 pieces made in Japan. C9 120 volt Christmas decorative lamps. Christy Garza says she learns new ex southern expressions from you all the time. Look at the size of these bad boys. Y'all, these are vintage. Look at that. And there is, here's the, it's even, con still even got the instructions in there. I mean, you don't get no more new old stock than this. Happy birthday, Chula. I was a project manager, baby, for a sign company. I handled multi-million dollar accounts, if you can believe that. I traveled all over the United States with my crazy-ass hick self. <laughs> except for the, except for the uh, far west. It was mostly over uh, in the... Uh, it was up uh, north uh, and in the in southeast, the, in the mostly. Southeast. Lucid Curio said, I need y'all to go on Fat Birds Fine so we can play the side I drink game. I've got to go on there. Help me remember that next time, Mama. When do they have a show? Oh, shoot, I hit the action button. I'm about to block somebody. Lord, help me. Oh, Kelly, don't do that. I can't block it from you. Oh, it would be blocking it from me, not your not your thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> anyway, offer up on the set of 25 pieces of the C9 big old Christmas bulbs. And there's green, red. And this is coming out like an orange, but I bet it shines gold and white. It's an offer up. Oh, I got to type in stuff. Uh, hold on. I got to get the thing ready. That's true, uh, Barb JM. They would look cute in a mason jar. I started saying dang and have the Bama accent every time. Does it have the cord? Slick Hendrix. Uh, hold on, Mama. Don't no, it doesn't it. have the cord, but I've got a set of vintage lights. That if, you could probably switch out for these. But, no, I've got the I've got a set of these that I out there in the shed that I was going to do when I did my vintage Christmas. I know, but what they're wondering, these are just the replacement bulbs. They're wondering if there's a if there's a cord to them. These I've got are, a cord somewhere. If I can find it, I'll let you know. Um, hold on, Mama. I got to do two things. I got to write Slick Hendrix down on the thing because I don't. <laughs> See, she, Vivian, you have just thrown Kelly a curve, my honey. She just don't know uh, how um, tasking my job duties can be sometimes. 
She just likes to go on a whim. That's a good damn thing you ain't yinging. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, you ready now? We're going for 90 seconds on the box of 25 vintage Christmas bulbs. Say nine. And going for 90 seconds, starting, starting at $15. Go. Start. Laura, be most of the side eyes going both ways. <laughs> you tell her, Kelly Michelle, Mama J's on your side, buddy. Thank you, Mama J. <laughs> I got you, Slick Hendrix, on the list, baby. See, Mama was trying, she was trying to distract me. I couldn't get your name wrote down because, see, that's my number one job is to make sure I get everybody's names wrote down. So, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't fail on the number one duty. Sally Hasty's got it at $15. Teresa Bryan at $17. Lucy Curious said, I love this side eye. Life wouldn't be the same without it. Honey, life ain't, life, we have not known life without the side eye. I don't, I don't, I don't have a They clue. have pictures of me when I was a toddler walking around in diapers giving side eyes. So. 25 seconds, y'all. 25 seconds. Sally's got it at $19. <laughs> Judy Gillespie. <laughs> 10 seconds. Stop. Stop. Okay, let me go out. I know Sally got it, but I have to be fair and make sure. We have to make sure. Where's my son-in-law tonight? He's at work. Which oh, one? so there's not going to be any... Uh... i got to do the garden. No, there will be no shrimp fried rice or nothing like that tonight, Mama. Uh, Sally Hasty, you got them for $19, baby. That box of bulbs. <laughs> Wendy Milk said the next emoji is a side eye. <laughs> <laughs> Laura Bimo said my son doesn't say side. He said my whole head turns around like the exorcist. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I even get, I knew what that side I was like from a young age. All right, like even in the car. Okay, so like as a kid, I'm in the back seat and I could oh, see Oh, buddy, it. I had this old Ranchero station wagon with the wood panel down the side and everything. It was two-tone brown in color, y'all. <laughs> two-tone brown station wagon. Mama ain't but like five, two or five, three, okay? With these glasses on. These huge, these huge 1980s glasses. 1980s thick pink rim, like. I don't know. And I had a switch, honey. I had a switch that was like a bull wheel. I could reach all the way in the back. Because, you know, then we didn't we didn't lock our kids down in the car. Them kids went from seat, seat, seat. But anyway, when they start fighting or whatever, and see, we'd have our nephew. I'd have my nephews, neighbor kids, everything. And it was open game. Whoever had the kids could discipline them. Honey, I, I could hit one of them with accuracy from the driver's seat and never miss a beat. Of course, now I get put in jail for that. She didn't even have to turn her head around to see where we was to spank us with a switch. I mean, you, you and, and you knew to watch out and start ducking and getting the floorboard because, I mean, you could oh, get hit in the cracked. face. I can't do that. Well, let's do something else. Okay, that's cracked. I ain't going to do that one. Here's Halloween. It's about Halloween. Okay, up next I have another um, scary book. Campfire Stories and Things That Go Bump in the Night. Do you want to hear something really scary? Better yet, would you like to be able to tell something really scary around a campfire? There are, let's see, this from 1985. 14. Katie said, I think there should be a cafe called Southern Side Eye. <laughs> There's 21 stories in here. And then it's got a bibliography that tells you where the stories came from. 21 stories and a bibliography 
campfire stories and it's in oh, perfectly Teresa brand Bryant. new condition. I'm making a note of that, Teresa Bryant. What? Keep going. Oh, and it's $8 number 30 for campfire stories, scary stories, and things that go bump in the night. <laughs> Laura Bemos! You got him, baby. Oh, honey, Lucy Curios, I got the, uh, we got the belt, too. It was just, uh, in the car, it was, uh, the switch. Oh, and them, anybody ever know, uh, get it with them, uh, metal fly flaps? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Hey, let's do that big tablecloth. Give me just a second. Tonight I have just a few more <laughs> expectations than you. <laughs> Y'all. You're taking my slack because I'm hurting, ain't you? Yes, I'm trying. And and you. And I'm not appreciating you, you one you, bit. You steadily uh, drill sergeant me. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, I have to come in here and I have to make sure that I get it in the right stack. Got everybody stuck going in there so that you don't have to go in there and put people. Oh, we don't stuff together. we don't spank anymore, but back then I did. We don't what? But I can guarantee you it wasn't nothing major. Oh, the last whip the last I won't say it's a spanking, it was a flat out beating. The last beating that I had <laughs> was when I tried to play my mother against my grandmother. I don't know, I was a teenager, I think. And Lord help, it was bad. Okay. Next up is a Quaker, and that's the company name, Quaker. Vintage from 1960, lace tablecloth. And it is 55 inches across and 96 inches long, so it'll fit a rectangle table. Mm -hmm. And it is absolutely gorgeous. And here's the label. And if you know anything about linens, and Quaker has been in business forever. It's Quaker number 4161 dinner cloth. I'll do it, Mom. Yes, Miss Christy Garza, it is. She asked if your arthritis was flaring up or acting up. Yeah. Okay, let's pull it out so they can see the pattern, baby. Hold it out. But see, it's got the little loops. That's how you can tell the Quaker. They put the little loops on the ends of it. But this is fine, like a silky, it's almost like tinsel, like uh, T-E-N-C-I-L, that kind of cotton. Um, but it is so silky and it is gorgeous. Look at that. And it is huge. This is long. Oh, can they see that pattern in the middle? Come yeah. this way some, Mom. Yeah, they can see it, baby. I was just trying to see. I can see what's on here right here. But it is, look at the bottom. See, see around the tri uh, edge? How pretty the... It's okay, I'll get it. It is just gorgeous. And it's on an offer up, 55 inches wide, 96 inches long, 1960s Quaker, Lace tablecloth. Offer up. Hold on a minute. Let me get my thing started. Thirty minutes. It's gonna be for ninety seconds. Starting out at at twenty dollars for ninety seconds. Go. Yeah, it is kind of fancy. Y'all know what that would be pretty on? One of those long, um, uh, what do you call them? Farmhouse tables? Banquet tables? Yeah. Um. I used it for my Dunkin' Five table when I had that big one up. Yes, yes. That's what I was thinking about. It's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. 
and there ain't a, I mean, there's not a, there's nothing wrong with this thing. It is absolutely gorgeous. And I mean, it just feels like silk. It is, it is just beautiful. Sally's got it at 25, 28 seconds left. Thank you, Deb. Teresa Calderini's got it at 29. 12 seconds left. Seven. Sally's got it at 35. Three, two. Stop. Stop. All right, let me go out. You gonna help me fold it up? Yeah. And put it back in the plastic? Yeah, I will. gorgeous okay let me go out and make sure who got it <laughs> Sally you got it for $35 baby thank you and I cannot wait till you see this thing and feel it in person. Yeah, Christy, that, yeah, they would. Okay, um, 35. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna put this in there. Um. Yes, baby, I'm taking my medicine. Yes, I don't like it, but I do. Yep, it is beautiful. Beautimus, beautimus, beautimus. Okay, up next I have another lot of five vintage Christmas cards. This one is Pine Cones and Candles. Look at this. Look at that cat. Inside the bird cage with the bird on top. Best wishes for the holiday season. Is that, how stinking cute is that? Thank you, Mama J. Here's a mailbox. All decorated with a pretty cardinal on the top. Here's a snowman. With glitter all over him. Uh, Cheryl, give me just a moment, ma'am. I'll get it for you, okay? And here are some beautiful flocked velvet poinsettias. So this set of five vintage Christmas cards is $7, number 49. I hold them $7, number 49 for the set of five vintage Christmas cards. Christy Garza, you got it, baby. That cat is something else, ain't it? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, give me just a minute. I'm not going nowhere. Miss Cheryl, I'm getting you, baby, just a minute. Still need a minute, Kelly? Just a moment, Mama, okay? Okay, baby. I sit here I sit here and wait on you. Okay, Miss Cheryl. Oh yeah, Carrie, they would. Miss Cheryl Megason. Is this the uh necklace that you were? I don't talking have about? much patience, Sally. It was number uh, 21. This is for... Now, we've already shown this, y'all, but uh, it did, nobody spoke for it. Miss Cheryl was asking about it. You said, yes, Miss Cheryl. Okay, it's number 21. We got you, baby. And it's, it's $10, okay? 
It's a good thing she got those that spoke for them because I had said after they didn't sell out some, I said, What she, number was? Somebody don't buy them. Who got them? And things are going home with me, Cheryl Megason. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, I have another set of those. Cheryl, uh, M I N, I'm sorry, M E G G I S O N. Well, you can read that, can't you? Yeah. Okay, number 21. All right, that's what I needed you to stop for. You can go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay. Next up is a vintage. You're um, welcome, Miss Cheryl. Teddy Bear music box that plays Here Comes Santa Claus. It was made in Taiwan. Let me see if they... It doesn't have the date on here. On the box anywhere. But the little teddy bear goes round and round. Here comes Santa Claus. And the little um, teddy bear music box that plays Here Comes Santa Claus is $12 and it's number 11. I do, Laura. I promise I do. Okay, I'll put that up. Okay, let me put that back in the box. Look at his little face. Ooh, Nate, did you go out and come back in, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Oh, Nate. I know everything seems larger, you know? Like, I can remember walking through this house, and, you know, it just seemed so big. I don't know. It's just, and the yard. The yard seemed massive, you know, and now it's, it doesn't, like, I'm just, it's funny how that happens. Okay, next up is this vintage. Um, I think she's made in Japan, but she's not marked. She's just a ceramic um, utensil caddy. She's not a wall pocket because there's no hole on the back to hang her or anything. She's just a real pretty little uh, lady with a yellow dress on. Got a little pot. And she's just a little utensil holder for the kitchen. Or I guess she could be a planner if you wanted to use her for a planner. She's just real cute. She don't have any condition issues. And she's $7, number 19. Seven dollars, number nineteen. Uh, yeah, yeah. I use salon pies. Yes, Sally. Uh, Christy. Yeah, thank you, Miss Sally, for responding to her because it's uh, um, Christy. Yeah, uh, she uses um salon pies like they're going out of style. Joanne Baber. Um, and then uh, Miss Penny for she. We're coming, Miss Penny. But I take methotrexate and uh. Hydroxychloroquine. Those are the two medicines they've got. Joanne Baber, number nineteen. Um, Penny Forshe uh -huh. is asking, "Are you going to have a Christmas sale?" We've had a lot of Christmas stuff. Um, yeah, I sold a little Christmas here and there, but since it's cooled off, I'm going to go out there in the storage building and find um, find the totes that's got uh, the majority of it in there. And um, I'm not going to have a sale where everything is, is vintage Christmas because I don't want to get sold out of it before <laughs> Christmas comes around. I want to be able to spread it out. But I'll start having more vintage Christmas in my sales, yes. Vulturin might help. You got the good stuff. No Rona for you. <laughs> Yeah, I got the good stuff. No Rona for um, me. <laughs> yeah, Christy, you do have to be careful. Uh, hold on. Oh no, popcorn bag just exploded in my wife away. Butter everywhere. <coughs> um, oh my lord. Um, 
Okay, up next is this vintage um, Monet brooch with a, um, it's a simulated citrine, I guess is what you'd call it. But it is, um, I think it is glass. But it's just really, really pretty. It's just a brooch. But it's got real pretty details and um, all along the circle there. It's from uh, the early 70s. And it'd be real, that color would be so pretty for fall. And the vintage Monet brooch is $12, number 25. $12, number 25. Teresa Calderini, you got it, baby. Hey, Maria, you need to go back out, baby, and refresh and come back in because you're on number 19, and that was a couple of minutes ago, baby. So you're you're lagging. Who is that? Yes, Maria, go out and come back in. We'll wait just a second. Yeah, we'll wait on you a minute, baby, for you to do that. We don't have to take all those out. We can just tell them it's a set. Right? Oh, because there's different ones. I got another. Where's this other one, though? <coughs> what in the world did I do with that other one? Okay, up next is this set of house Christmas glasses, the stained glass look, and it's H-O-U-Z-E. There's one, two, there's three that say Merry Christmas, and two that say Season's Greetings, and then there's two mugs that say Merry Christmas, and I'm selling them all as a lot. So there's five of the glasses, two of the mugs, and I'm selling them all as a lot. And they are, for the whole set, it's $15, number 14. Five glasses and two mugs. That, li that light aggravates me. Sally Hasty, you got them, baby. They've got this gold rim on the thing, too. I'll write it down. You just put it on your thing. Thank you, Sally, baby. Put them back in here so they don't get messed up. <clears throat> here. I'll just set them back here. And I'll get a bigger, bigger box to put them in. Thank you, baby doll. Okay. Up next, I have this sweet little set of vintage earrings. The faux pearl. They're shaped like a Christmas tree. And they're clip-on. And they got little gold stars at the top of them. Really, really sweet. Little faux pearl Christmas earrings with a little gold star at the top and the gold uh, trunk at the bottom. Miss Annie Piece of Pam, I don't think you could be any sweeter. Oh, thank you, baby. And the little uh, faux pearl Christmas tree earrings are $6, number 41. $6, number 41. Thank y'all for the sweet comments. Thank y'all. Mm -hmm. Hmm? I was just moaning, Joanne Baber. Are you moaning? <laughs> Dead gum, you're not going to get out of bed tomorrow. I'm going to work you to death, ain't I? Well, I mean, I work so... 
heck I still got to make the DG trip and work in the uh, garden because it ain't raining. Or it's not raining. I say it ain't raining. It's not raining. Who was this? 41. Joanne Baber. Okay, up next I have this cute little fall apron. It says Farm Fresh Open Daily Pumpkins. It's a bib style with the ties for the back. Cotton and it ties around the neck. Farm Fresh Pumpkins Open Daily. You know what's fun is to go in there and look at the, uh, you know how I pile people, I put uh -huh. people stuff together. It's fun to go in there and look at what the collect, you know, what everybody's bought. Like I've got all of Joanne Baber stuff together, all of Stacy Brinkley's together, and Teresa. You know, I mean, like yeah. It's twelve dollars number fifty three. <laughs> twelve dollars number fifty three for the Farm Fresh Pumpkins bib style apron. <coughs> Teresa Calderini. Let me hang this back up here. All right, so let me tell you something real quick, Mama, because in case I forget. Okay, so Miss Sally Hasty has several items. Uh -huh. And so she's got items in the kitchen and on the, um, the red sofa. Baby, this house is 1,200 square feet. I can find it. I mean, I'm just trying to... So. Oh! Did you just give me the side eye? Huh? No, you didn't. Oh, here's another piece. See, y'all, she's not even... Uh, here's another piece of Miss Lois Sparks' hand-painted beauty. And this is from 2003, and this piece is from Gerald Porcelain, Bavaria, made in Western Germany. So the piece is old, but she painted it, hand painted it in 2003. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And it is... $12, number three. $12, number three. My dog <coughs> loves to sleep on my head. What fruit they're asking? Is that apples? Um, that looks like an apple to me. Or, I don't know, is that, is that a peach? Mm -mm. Let me, let me do, let me Vanna White it for them. I don't know what that is. I, I don't know. Or if my a, price is right. Uh, it's not shaped like an apple. It's not shaped like an apple. It's more like a peach, but. Some people may be able to tell by the leaves. I'm usually pretty good with stuff like this, but this I can't figure out. It's $12 number three. $12 number three. And is it? No, it's not plums. No, that's not plums. Uh -uh. I don't know. It may be pomegranate, Miss Debbie. It may be, yeah. It's either pomegranate or peach. Because see at the bottom down there, it's got that funny looking, spikety looking bottom. That she's, drunk, that she's painted in and there. And then the top right there kind of looks like a pomegranate too. Yeah, I think they are pomegranates. Oh. Look at Christy Garza's comment uh, about her Instagram account. Tippy Winks Vintage, if you can please give me a follow, Christy Garza. We sure will, baby. Aren't they apples? I don't know, Abby. It doesn't... I mean, what do you I think? I don't think that's it's apples. It's kind of not shaped like an apple to me, but, you know, I guess... I don't know. Mmm.
Okay, up next I have this set of, these are from American Atelier, Atelier, at home. Atelier. 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 Atelier, Atelier Kelly said. Rainbow River Trout. And each plate has a different trout on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Can you I, hold up this? I'm, I'm coming. I can walk out there and get them. You know, they are, let's see how. Being a mama is one thing, a boss. I'm not so sure about this now. I'm just going to go on a tee. They're eight and a quarter inches across. And each one says, this is a Bonneville cutthroat trout. I'm a cloud river rainbow trout. This one is Rainbow River Trout. And this one is Mexican Golden Trout. <laughs> what is it? You. Porcelain dishwasher safe, microwave safe. And it's for the set of four River Trout plates. It's, oh, and they all have the hangers on them. But this one, don't you can put I one can on I can put it, one on there. It's $20, number 52. $20, number 52. Yes, Abby does have a rat, uh, rabbit, and it eats everything in sight. Dogs, birds, ferrets, and now cats. <laughs> Twenty-five pounds. Good Teresa gracious! Bryant. You got those, Teresa Bryant. Thank you, Teresa. Who else has a rabbit? Who else did y'all say had a rabbit? More decor for my son. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> okay, I have another offer up, and it is for this fairy lamp, and it has a maker's mark on it that I have not seen before. Which which part is that on? There it is. It's got like a, uh, it's got like a little triangle and a circle underneath it. See that? It's like a maker's mark, and I've never seen that on, um, on a fairy lamp before. But this is one of the, uh, the clear ones, and it is. Let's see how tall this one is. It's five inches tall. It's in wonderful, perfect condition. And like I said, if you know what that mark is, you better than I am. I don't know what that is, but it's a triangle and then a little circle underneath it. And it is an offer up. Let me start it. And going for 90 seconds. We're starting it at $10, start. $10, start with a clear glass fairy lamp. Penny four, she's got it at 12. Mary Scott at 14. We got 45 seconds.
Thank you, baby. Doug has got it at 16. Oh, that's cute. I would dress up a pet if I had one. 15 seconds. Cheryl, uh, Doug still got it at 16. Five seconds. Stop. Okay, let me get out of here. And go back in. Well, it's not. I just can't do nothing right tonight. I'm telling y'all. Okay, let's see. Doug Grimes, you got it for $16, baby doll. <sighs> Thank you, Doug. I'm going to put this back here, okay? All right, baby. That's fine. Yeah, I'd rather it be in here so it don't get turned over or nothing. I got you something right there. Oh. Up next, I have a vintage made in Japan, uh, a tom and a hen turkey, salt and pepper shakers. Vintage made in Japan, tom and a hen, salt and pepper shakers. Just as cute as cute can be. They are $7, number 10, for the Tom and the Hen Salt and Pepper Shakers. $7, number 10. Ranch Wolf Life. Oh, thank you, Kara. Next is this pretty lace pillow with the uh, flowers and the trim on it. It's got a ribbon running through the edge of it. It's just a pretty little pillow for a bed or a crib or anything. Just a real sweet little pillow. And it is $7, number 51. $7, number 51. Go ahead, baby. Oh, I don't like those hairless cats. They, they scare me. They kind of freak me out a little bit. Stacy Brinkley. Thank you, baby. Brinkley. Next, I don't know if anybody's got any toddler children, but these are these are fantastic. These are I have three Melissa and Doug wooden puzzles, and they are just in fantastic condition. All right, let, let's show them to them like this first. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then we'll take them out and show them like how the little pieces come out. Y'all know how these little puzzles are. Each little piece comes out. All right. 
And then this one is the uh, farm animals. And they come out as well. And then this one is musical. When you lift up the bass, the song plays for each one of the little things. <laughs> and those three Melissa and Doug puzzles, including the musical one, is $12, number 42. $12, number 42, for the three Melissa and Doug wooden puzzles. And it's including the musical one. Jane Tipton. Thank you, Jane. I love those little songs they sing on there. You want to uh, discount the things that didn't sell and let's go back through them real quick? Um, it's nine o'clock. Well, we can do it. We can do it, baby. Okay, give me just a second. You sit there and I'll get it, but you're gonna have to watch the chat. Okay, we're gonna discount the things that didn't sell. Up first is this Pelosi 1977 ice cream parlor scale. It was $20. I'm marking it down to 15, number 13. $15, number 13 for the vintage Let's show scale. Let's this works. Kendra Joe, you got it, baby. Okay, the vintage music box that plays Here Comes Santa Claus with the teddy bear that goes around and around. Sitting on a bag of Santa's toys. It was $12 and now it's 10. Number 11. Kelly is a little over two. Yes, Kelly does have curly hair. Carrie, you got it, baby. Wait a minute. Number 11 was discounted to how much? $10. Who got it? Carrie ATX. What was that last one we just did? The scale? The scale. What number was it? The uh, number 13. Oh. And Kendra Joe got it. For $15? That's right. Okay. Up next is the 1980 R.H. Macy's Christmas mugs made in Japan from the Alba trimmings. The Footed Holly, number 17 for $10. Set of four Holly mugs with the feet on them.
<laughs> yes, Nate does love the slag glass. $10 for the set of four Macy's Holly Christmas mugs. Number 17. The stuff my brain thinks I'm doing. Abby, your brain's fine, baby. Next is a set of seven uh, Ellie Smith uranium glass octagon plates, uh, salad or dessert plates. They were $35, now they're $28 for seven uranium glass octagon shaped Ellie Smith plates. Yes, honey. Yes. And I meant to tell y'all, too, anytime you want to buy anything for somebody's birthday or it's getting close to Christmas, if you want me to drop ship something to somebody else, I'll even gift wrap it. Jewelry boxes are 75 cents and it goes on up. The most expensive thing I would wrap would be $3.50. So I'll wrap it, put your card in there, and send it to anybody you want me to. Number 34, $28 for the seven uranium glass plates. What was uh, Stacy Brinkley got? Uh, Stacy, you got those, baby. Judy Scalette. What about her? Stacy Brinkley. Uh-huh. Number 34 went to Stacy for I'm going to have to move uh, Stacy Brinkley's stack. You don't have to move it. You can start. sit it somewhere else because I'll keep up with it. All right, thank you. Ooh, there went that. <laughs> that side pinky. Lord, it's a side eye. I'm going to start calling that the side pinky. Uh, go. Go where, baby? Uh, go back up. Above Stacy? Right here. Miss Judy Scalette. What is number one? Miss Judy, what was number one that we, you put no, in there, baby? No, we've already sold number one. That was the table. I know, call. but she, maybe she was wanting a different number and she just. Yeah. But yes, Laura Bemos, and if you want me to wrap it, let me know. And whatever it is, um, I'll let you know. But it, it goes anywhere from $0.75 cents to $3.50 for gift wrapping in a card. And I'll send it anywhere you want me to. Okay, now I'll go back up and see if Miss G. Okay, let's keep going because I got to go. Well, I'm through. That's it, baby. Judy was that. Oh, okay. I got you. She was just answering a question with one. Okay. No, she was answering somebody else's question, baby. Goodness. How many dogs I have, Miss Pam? Oh, you was just telling how many. Oh, sorry, Miss Judy. I'm sorry, Judy. I can be a sober. I don't drink either. A lot of people don't believe that, but I don't. Uh, Diet Coke's about the uh, hardest thing I ever get into. Well, that's it for me and Kelly Michelle. She's got to make her Dollar General run because, you know, she, she can't do it between 6 o'clock in the morning and uh, 9 o'clock at night because she has to come down here and let me be mean to her and talk to her like she's a dog. And I have home duties as well. And you got to do the garden. And queso. You gotta, and queso. And laundry. Stuff us normal folks do. We don't get to, to go. I don't unless it's... um. Christy, I don't have curly hair unless it's humid like it uh, like it has been, but but it it's, it can get curly. Mine straightens hers. The like shorter the shorter I, my hair gets, the curlier it gets. I love you too, Sally Hasty. My dad's hair is really curly. And oh, we love y'all, honey. We love y'all too. We love y'all so much. 
Oh, Elizabeth, thank you, Lucy and Curios. Mm, big loves to y'all, too. Big loves. Thanks for the good time and your valuable time. Oh, how sweet are they? Thank you, Abby. I will be doing an unboxing oh. video tomorrow from your how package, cool, Ms. Pam. Lucy. I have to remember that. And, um... Oh... Thank you, Vintage and Vinyl. Yes, I had to make me a note. Yeah, for all those that purchase and don't have Mom's email address already, Vintage and Vinyl. Uh, and I'll put it. I'll try to go back in and put it in this video after it um after it ends. Thank you, Randy. Yes, honey. That's Kelly. Is that is them kids still testing positive? They still got y'all out there testing them kids. Yeah, they're still testing positive. There's a bunch of them. It's a lot more now. It's like thousands now. Drunken heathens. Every um, one of them. Christy Garza, we always have fun with y'all. Thanks y'all. Thank y'all so Thank much. Thank you, Randy. I, I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, you know. Ain't nothing a uh, couple, uh, couple of dozen pills won't take care of. <laughs> she says that and she just goes, goes, goes. And then. Mm -hmm. I love y'all to pieces. Y'all have a good night. Bye, mm -hmm. y'all.